Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for being here today. I want special thanks to Mayor Lee and everyone standing behind me and his team uh, for working very hard uh, to get to where we are today, kickstarting Green Finance SF. It truly has been a team effort. Today is a big day for San Francisco. After six months of work with our various stakeholders from the environment, from labor and finance, we're extremely excited to announce San Francisco's intention to kickstart the Green Finance SF program, an environmental program that will continue San Francisco's tradition of being at the forefront of combating global climate change, a program that will push our city further down the road of meeting our aggressive greenhouse grass, gas emissions goals and put San Franciscans to work in our neighborhoods through a strong workforce development component, all by the way of helping San Francisco property owners finance efficient energy projects and renewable energy projects in their homes. Green Finance SF is a program for residential properties of four units or less known as PACE, Property Assessed Clean Energy. It's a financing structure that will allow San Franciscans at no cost to our city to fund energy efficiency and renewable energy upgrades for property owners and homeowners here in San Francisco. Green Finance SF's special form of financing will help to overcome market barriers that exist that have prevented energy efficient upgrades from happening in the past and spreading the cost recovery over the life of the improvement. This special form of financing allows property owners to responsibly finance energy efficient upgrades through property tax assessments. And the capital of the discounted PACE loans will be provided by private entities and with no official or financial risk or exposure to our city. Every day here in San Francisco, we are fortunate to witness innovation in all sectors, including the clean energy economy. We know that our clean energy economy and the green collar jobs that it creates could trigger a market transformation as profound as the information and technology revolution we're currently witnessing. But in order to unleash this clean energy economy's true potential, we as a city must provide catalysts for a stronger market demand for energy efficiency and renewable energy products and services. That catalyst, as I mentioned, is Green Finance SF. We have seen other parts of the state here in California that have adopted PACE programs, most notably up in Sonoma and down in Riverside counties, and have seen the positive impacts those have had in their communities. And we know the stories of individuals who have benefited from residential PACE programs and the successes that they have experienced. We know that these upgrades can save money, not only on the repair costs to crucial home improvement projects, but also over the course of utility bills. And from the beginning, it was very important for Mayor Lee and I to make sure this environmental policy and finance tool had a strong workforce component. We convened meetings with our partners in labor to start the discussions about a workforce component for Green Finance SF. And we know that training our workers for jobs in new and emerging industries, such as the clean energy economy, is key to help them getting not only jobs today and keeping them employed, but also helping them find meaningful careers in our city of San Francisco and building their families in our city limits. We know the potential the clean, clean energy economy has in store and we want our local workers to benefit. We're going to continue to work with our local labor partners and leaders to formalize a workforce agreement that ensures local residents are working with local contractors on local projects so that we keep the money and work flowing inside of our San Francisco borders. So that members from the various community groups and labor organizations standing by behind me today have the opportunity to be trained for jobs here in the 21st century. And in particular, I want to thank Pat Mulligan at City Build, as well as a number of our labor leaders for making this workforce component a reality. Despite the Federal Housing Finance Agency's concerns, we are confident that San Francisco's program can move forward and be successful. We've seen countless programs up and down the state of California and nationwide operate successfully with no threat of being shut down. Because of the FHFA's concerns, we're doing all we can as a city to protect property owners and give them comfort and certainty 
that they need to participate in our Green Finance SF program. Governor Brown recently passed in his budget a reserve fund for PACE programs in the state that will address the FHFA's concerns and ensure that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will not be negatively impacted by residential PACE programs here in San Francisco. San Francisco will be participating in the state reserve fund so that our property owners here in San Francisco are fully protected. Ultimately and in the end, Green Finance SF is the environmental solution we have all been searching for to build local renewable energy sources and create local jobs. Green Finance SF will further cement San Francisco's role as a national leader to uh, reverse the adverse effects of climate change, make it easier for property owners in our neighborhoods to finance their homes and the energy upgrades that they want and need. We have more work to do in rolling out this program, and I hope you will join me and those behind me in helping roll out a successful Green Finance SF in the months to come. Again, I want to thank you all for being here, and I want to turn it over to Mayor Lee, who's been such a great supporter of this program, and not only that, but a great leader for our city. Mayor Lee. Thank you, Supervisor Farrell. And it's great to see so many of our partners here, uh, homeowners as well as our labor force, city agencies. I want to thank you all for coming together because we all support our environment, and we need to do even more. And this program, as Supervisor Farrell has very adequately explained, uh, you know, we started PACE uh, with our, my predecessor in 2010. It was a pretty big announcement. I paid attention to it because we all knew that there were tremendous barriers to people taking initiative on their own for their own homes uh, to create the solar uh, energy alternatives, to get water uh, conservation, energy efficiencies, and to make that something that they personally wanted to contribute to the climate changes that we needed to reduce in our world. And so that kind of view uh, was something that was in my mind when this program started. Unfortunately, it was stalled out. It was stalled out because of the fear from uh, the financial sectors, particularly uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, that they didn't want uh, these to uh, the create the mortgage insubordination and cause uh, uh, potentially more hardship there, so the program stalled. But as a result, uh, and as, as we thought through it, uh, there were other partners that stepped up. And I want to uh, not only thank uh, Supervisor Farrell for uh, reinstigating the Green Start financing program uh, and calling upon our Department of Environment to help lead the way with all of the other partners that we've identified today. But a great leap forward was had when Governor Brown uh, said this was something right and the state should offer uh, up to $10 million of backup uh, it just in case people have that fear. Because it is about reducing the barriers for those individual voluntary choices that want to be made uh, by people that want to participate and help. And we're reminded of that recently uh, because this launch of the program is relevant today as we are all attempting to help the victims of the Philippine uh, typhoon recover and that storms of that nature are on our minds as well as other climate changes that are on our minds as we want to do more to help our world become even better. Scientists continue to tell us that these kinds of storms and impacts in our communities will only get worse because of climate change. And that's why our response to the typhoon and other environmental disasters has to go beyond just disaster relief. We have to take a long-term view on it. And so uh, knowing that 50% of our greenhouse gas emissions comes from buildings themselves, what can we do about it? Well, we can incentivize homeowners to do the right thing. And the more that we can do on an individual basis, and the more our city can help reduce the barriers of uh, the financial outlay that has to happen uh, with these uh, particular products and these programs and the labor costs associated with it, uh, we can help individuals make the right decision. So green, uh, green Finance SF is one of those solutions. And I am directing, as of today, uh, the, direct, the Department of the Environment, and I know Melanie's here, and she's got great staff to help us put th this together. 
Uh, I know she's already whispered in my ear that uh, Rich and Cal, you're going to be front and center on this program. And so uh, we're directing you to make sure that you work quickly to make this voluntary program available to all of our San Francisco homeowners right away and help to remove a major financial obstacle for our homeowners to make energy efficient improvements and deploy our renewable energy systems. Through this program, homeowners will be able to finance approved projects and make payments through their property tax bill that can spread up to 20 years of payments. And this, of course, helps tremendously in eliminating the upfront large costs for these upgrades. And when combined with other city uh, incentives, including Energy Watch, Go Solar SF, water conservation rebates, this green finance SF can save homeowners money on their energy and water bills that may cover the entire cost of financing and improvements. This simply makes a lot of economic success. And we know, as Supervisor Farrell adequately explained already, this will result in increased demand for this program. And that with a long increased demand for energy efficiencies, for water conservation, and for renewable energy proje projects, it will create good, skilled jobs that will be sustainable for a long, long time. And that is why we are also making a commitment with our labor friends. We invest in you to be the skill sets, the people working on people's homes, so you can have adequate jobs in the long run that are good, clean, green jobs that we want for all of our communities. And we'll begin by hiring people in disadvantaged communities so that they have faith that this program can be theirs for all generations as well. This kind of environmental leadership is exactly what I want to happen in San Francisco. We can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and at the same time create good jobs and save city family monies. We have done it in the San Francisco way. We have done it through consensus by bringing people together, our environmental friends, labor, property owners, our contracting community. But again, I want to thank Governor Brown because he's been educating mayors up and down this state to really be with him solidly on climate change. I'm going to be one of those mayors that work with Governor Brown solidly on this. And he is not only uh, educating people, he's putting serious money behind it to reduce the barriers and make sure we do it the right way. I want to thank again Supervisor Farrell for his leadership uh, and for working with me to restart this Green Finance SF. And everybody behind me is going to be solidly with this. And we look forward to building more and more uh, of a movement on this, beginning with our homeowners who will voluntarily do it just as I want to do it with my own house. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Lee, and a special thanks to your team, led by Mr. Kim, and for all of their leadership. They've done such an amazing job uh, on this program. At this point in time, I want to bring up Angelo King, who's the Vice President of our Environment Commission here in San Francisco. Thank you. Uh, a lot to say about this. What a fantastic piece of legislation. I'd like to thank uh, my mayor, uh, Mayor Ed Lee, and Supervisor Farrell for this terrific step forward in, in environmental and uh, clean energy uh, goals for our city. And uh, I would like to thank Luminault. I'd like to thank our director, Director Nutter, and our commission um, and our department. Because once this legislation is put forth, we have a tremendous department that knows how to get the word out knows how to tell people about these programs, has a fantastic outreach uh, team led by uh, a gentleman I'm always calling out in public for his tremendous work. And they're gonna get out there and tell homeowners why they should be excited about this, which is the first step to create demand, which then will turn into jobs. And so this department has that charge. And I'd like to thank the commission and in specific uh, the president, uh, Josh Arce, who couldn't be here today, unfortunately, and Nick Josefowicz, which put in a lot of, uh, gentlemen put in a lot of time for this project. Because <laughs> somebody mentioned that I look like a Muni driver today. <laughs> you know who you are. 
But then how appropriate, because at the commission, we are driving uh, kind of the sentiments and values of what we would like to see, which is marrying uh, in environment with labor and, and, and job development, because that is the green collar economy that so many people are promising folks that are saying, look, the, the coal based economy is over. We need to start looking to the future. But that future has to include everybody to build coalitions that for everybody can only be the folks that only care about just environment, but has to also be those people that care about taking care of those families. And when we create these things together, when we think about them together and we include unions, which we have here, when we include those people that are looking, that are underemployed, when we include those folks as well as the people that like to see uh, the best earth possible for everybody, then we come up with the best legislation for all. And I think that these folks have had that. And then I think that these people, I think, <laughs> see the environment, the good environment is good for everybody, isn't it? Amen. Amen. So when we bring all of these things together, it's good for all of us. <laughs> so that's right. Amen with that. So once again, I want to thank uh, the department, uh, the director, uh, Luminald, uh, the mayor, and uh, Mr. Farrell, Supervisor Farrell, for the wonderful piece of legislation that's been put forth. Thank you. Thanks, Angelo. At this point, I'd like to bring up uh, Janine Cutter from Luminot Solar Contractors. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Um, what a great day. This is great. It's a great resolution. Uh, uh, this is a triple win for San Francisco. Solar energy efficiency and water conservation reduce the cost of operating our homes. They reduce our impact on the environment and they create good jobs. Um, as you can see by the people back here, we're gonna put San Franciscans to work, reinvigorating our economy and causing um, us to have a much lesser impact on the environment. This is smart fiscally, this is smart environmentally, uh, and this is, smart, this is smart investment in San Francisco and our ability to grow our workforce grow our skill set, uh, and create a better tomorrow for all of us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Janine. And we want to bring up one of the many homeowners that we've spoken with uh, that are excited to start this program um, and would like to invite Josephine Zhao up here. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here today. My name is Josephine Zhao. I'm a member of Small Property Owners of San Francisco and help the group to provide translation service to our growing Chinese-speaking membership. I'm also a homeowner at District 5 and have been there for five years. For any property owner, the cost of doing an upgrade to our property is one that has to be weighed very carefully. You want to be able to make sure that any upgrade works for you and your personal financial situation so that you, ca you do not have to carry a huge debt and burden and end up ultimately making a wise decision. Right now, there are a lot of barriers that exist to make renewable energy and energy efficiency upgrades to our homes. The financial rates right now are not too favorable and there are upfront costs that act as real barriers to doing any real energy efficiency upgrade. And that's why when I, when I and small property owners of San Francisco when were contacted by Supervisor Farrell's office, um, and I was eager to hear about what Green Finance SF was and how it could potentially help me make an energy efficient upgrade to my home. And when Supervisor Farrell's office explained Green Finance SF to me and how it could help property owners, I was instantly engaged and ready to participate. The barrier that exists now will no longer be as large when Green Finance SF gets up and running very soon. I look forward to take advantage of the favorable financing terms 
so that I can make the decision and add energy efficient upgrade to my home and that will help me save money and my utility bills can do so in financially responsible way. I'm happy to participate in a program that is good for the environment and good for community since it will help our local residents to work. I'm proud that the city is taking the steps to restart Green Finance SF to help property owners like myself and my folks while helping the environment and community at the same time. I want to thank you again for being here today and I want to thank Mayor Ed Lee and Supervisor Mark Farrow for their leadership in getting Green Finance SF up and running. Thank you. Thank you, Josephine. And again, thank you everyone for being here, especially those behind me. We have a lot of work to do, but together we will make San Francisco greener, we will create local jobs, and we will build out local energy sources here in the city of San Francisco. Again, a huge thanks to Mayor Ed Lee for his partnership um, and as, as a leader in our environmental movement here in San Francisco and to your team and to all the business, the labor, the environmental, and the small property owners uh, and their partners that are here today for making this reality. Thank you, everyone.